All you need is just 10 minutes a day, and you can change the course of your life. You can attract the money, the social status, the car, the love, and everything else that your heart passionately years for. The life you are living right now was weaved by your inner talks and conversations of the past. The thoughts you have been thinking in the past have brought you where you are today, and most importantly, the thoughts you are thinking today are constructing your future. If you are happy with your current life and have all that you want, then by all means continue thinking the same thoughts and repeating the same inner conversations. But if you are not where you wanted to be, then something needs to change. An internal shift needs to take place, a complete transformation, a personal revolution. Once you change your inner world, your outer world will automatically change. Changing the outer reality and your life circumstances is not your job. Your only job is to take care of what goes on inside your mind. Each day that you spend in anger, worry, or frustration, you are sowing those hateful seeds in the rich and fertile ground of your subconscious. These negative seeds will eventually take root and grow up to be humongous plants in no time, unless you decide to change and take the matters in your own hands. And the most powerful method of taking control of your inner world and changing it 180 degrees is by taking responsibility for the stories you keep telling yourself inside your mind. Your inner conversations influence the way you see and perceive the world around you. Instead of sticking to the stories from your past, you could go into the future and live in the state of wish fulfilled. This is a state where you have all your desires, where you are living the life of your dreams. A state that fills your body and mind with excitement for your life. That is, the state of wish fulfilled, or thinking from the end. When you start thinking from the end, your inner conversations start shifting. You start thinking and focusing on the good in the now. You start expecting life and the universe to favor you in every endeavor of yours. This is the magic of thinking from the end. This is a state of true passion and freedom, a state of eternal joy and limitless bliss. The law of attraction says that you attract the reality with which you are in a vibrational alignment with. So, every thought you think and its corresponding emotion has a certain frequency. If the thought is positive, it has a higher frequency. If the thought is negative, it is bound to be of a low vibrational energy. All you need is to think as many positive things as you can about your life. You can start by offering gratitude for the blessings you have. Gratitude is a powerful accelerator of manifestations. It takes you from ground zero to the highest level possible in every aspect of your life. Whether it is your financial situation or your love life, they can all tremendously benefit from the power of gratitude. Once you become positive, your vibration rises and you become a magnet for attracting miracles in your life. Another important aspect of getting quick manifestations and attracting miracles is to let go of your past. We all cling to our past like it is a treasure that needs to be protected. Your past thoughts and emotions are not your treasure. They are the cage you have deliberately imprisoned yourself in. It's time to let go of that cage and breathe in the present. Your present moment is the center of all creation. All of your reality emanates from the now, not from your past or future. The present is the vortex of manifesting. So, in the beginning, make a conscious effort every day to stay in the present as much as you can. In just a few days, it will become your default setting and you won't have to think twice about staying true to the present moment. Now guys, the next step in your manifestation journey is to keep watching this channel. Click now on the video on the screen to get access to the most inspiring content about Neville Goddard on the internet.